The first trimester. Fetal development. 0 to 13 weeks. The first trimester is most crucial to your baby's development. During this period, your baby's body structure and organ systems develop. Most miscarriages and birth defects occur during this period. Your baby also undergoes major changes during the first trimester. That is, 1. All major systems and organs begin to form. 2. The embryo looks like a tadpole. 3. The neural tube, which becomes the brain and spinal cord, the digestive system, and the heart and circulatory system, begin to form. 4. The beginnings of the eyes and ears are developing. Ultrasound screening is indicated in the screening of first trimester pathologies. Report published in 2005 that the ultrasound scan performed during the first trimester of pregnancy must check that the fetus does not present any cranial or midline anomalies. Major structural anomalies detected during the first trimester scan are highest rates corresponding to 1. A crania. 2. Holoprosencephaly. 3. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome. 4. Omphalocele. 5. Megacystis. 6. Hydrops, AND7. Anencephaly. What is a crania? A crania, a neural tube defect, is a condition characterized by the partial or complete absence of the fetal skull. The face and base of the skull are present, but due to the malformation of the skull, the brain is exposed. A crania is considered the early gestation precursor to anencephaly. The progression from exposed brain tissue that appears normal, a crania, to no recognizable brain tissue, anencephaly, is called the fetal acrania anencephaly sequence. Thus, a crania refers to the absence of a fetal skull with freely exposed brain tissue to amniotic fluid. A crania often results in anencephaly, and some believe it is a precursor to all cases of anencephaly. Both can be seen on ultrasound in the first trimester. A crania is a rare congenital disorder that occurs in the human fetus, in which the flat bones in the cranial vault are either completely or partially absent. The cerebral hemispheres develop completely but abnormally. The fetus is said to have a crania if it meets the following criteria. The fetus should have a perfectly normal facial bone, a normal cervical column, but without the fetal skull and a volume of brain tissue, equivalent to at least one-third of the normal brain size. There are no known family ties in a crania, and recurrence rates are extremely low. Not much is known about the exact mechanism involved in a crania. It is hypothesized that, like other developmental malformations, there are multiple origins for a crania. During the fourth week of human development the neuroper in a normally developing fetus closes. When this process is either interrupted or never initiated, a crania occurs. A crania can be diagnosed early in pregnancy through an ultrasound. This abnormality appears during the beginning or end of the fourth week of the fetus's development. An absence of the skull is needed in order to make a diagnosis. A presence of brain tissue will confirm the diagnosis of a crania and differentiate it from other developmental problems such as anencephaly. Newborns who survive die within several hours, days, or weeks. This disease is rare, occurring in 1 in 20,000 live births. In order to better manage an acrania diagnosis, early detection is of extreme importance. Sadly, there is no medical treatment for acrania. Due to the lack of development of babies' brains, about 75% of infants are stillborn, and the remaining 25% of babies die within a few hours, days or weeks after delivery. Care focuses on providing emotional support to your family. Can a crania be misdiagnosed? It is suggested that there is lacking of mesenchymal migration in the fourth week of embryological age. The first trimester diagnosis must be made with restraint because the fetal cranium is not fully calcified before 10 to 11 weeks, therefore, if only mid-sagittal views of the fetus are obtained, misdiagnosis may occur. Getting adequate amounts of folate and folic acid can prevent neural tube defects like a crania. All women of childbearing age should get 400 micrograms MCG, of folic acid daily prior to and throughout pregnancy. For women who have experienced a prior pregnancy affected by neural tube defects, 
A high daily dose of 4 mg of folic acid is recommended, staring at least 4 weeks prior to conception. Thanks for watching. Learning is fun. Please right away press subscribe buttons before